All right, man, we back. Mercy Sports Talk. Let's talk about the betting eyes for the Lions taking on the Colts um, Sunday. It will be on CBS. I didn't realize that till today, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so let's get to these betting eyes. You got the Colts favored by two and a half. Um, the money line, let's talk about that first. It's the Colts, a negative 164. All right, so you have to bet at least $164 on the Colts to win straight. Uh, to bring home $100. So you got to bet $164 to, bet to rent $100. The Lions are plus $136. If you like me and think the Lions will win Sunday, um, you need to bet. If you bet $100, you bring home $136. Every $100 you bring, you bring home $136. So, I mean, those are good odds. I think this is going to be a competitive game. Uh, um, Colts, they got some issues on uh, with the quarterback position. Some injuries, but Darius Leonard is expected to play this weekend, I believe, unless some type of setback in groin. So he makes a lot of difference for them to force Bugner. Uh, they miss Malik Hooker, but Xavier Rose have had some type of resurgence in Indianapolis. So I know the Vikings can use that right now, but the spread is two, negative two and a half. So for the Colts, so they favored by two and a half. So um, that's a negative 130. So you have to bet. Uh, $130 to win 100 if you're betting for the Colts to cover the two and a half. So they have to win by more than two and a half points, nothing less, all right? Then you got the Lions plus two and a half, all right? So if the Lions win by more than two and a half, it's plus 106. So you have to you bet $100, you bring home 106 uh, in profit, okay? So they plus 2.5. Um, so they should win. If they win by field goal or more, like you think, I, I think they win by field goal, um, you can win $106 if you bet 100 So out of over and under, it's 50 So I believe the under, I think it's going to be the under. It's going to be under 50 um, Negative 115, negative 105 for the under. So it's negative 15 if it goes over. So you got to bet $115 to win $100 if it go over. They believe it's more likely going to go over than stay under because negative 105, the under. So you got to bet 105 to win 100 So they believe it's probably going to be the over. I'm gonna say it's gonna be the under. Now you got some you got some trends here. Okay. Uh the trends are the the Indianapolis are four and one straight up in the last five games against Detroit, which a lot have changed since then. The total has hit under in four of Indianapolis last five games against NFC opponents. Detroit is five and five and twelve against the spread ATS in the last seventeen games. And Detroit is on six straight up in the last six home games. All right. Uh they will have families and friends here today. I mean, Sunday, uh, also, you got some other trends getting in there as well, too, which I made a mistake and closed out. So uh, let's talk about these other trends as well. Thank you for Brave for saving my tabs. Use Brave web browsers the best. Um, so now you have the stats. Well, I said Colts. The Colts, Indianapolis is averaging 26.2 points a game, 14th in the NFL. They're only surrendering 19.2 points a game. That's number four in the NFL. The Lions are averaging 26 points per game. That's 15th in the NFL. They surrendering almost 30 points a game at 27.5, 20th in the NFL. We know that last trend with the surrendering the points, that's kind of reduced the last couple games, but also the opposition has reduced. So um, I'm going to tell you what I like. I ain't always right, but I like the Lions to win plus 136. I like them to cover the spread, which is plus 106. And I like the under, which is negative 105. If you want to know their Super Bowl odds, the Colts are plus 2,900. The Lions are plus 7,500 to win the Super Bowl at this point. So um, I like the Lions to win. I like them to cover. Um, and I like the under in this game. So let me know what you guys think. I think it's going to be a good game. Uh, I think this is going to be a true litmus test for the Lions to know if if um, Matt Patricia and Udlin defense is going to work. Uh, Phillip Rivers is nothing special this year. His arm is starting to go. I'll be more scared, scared if they play Jacoby Brissett. Um, so a couple reasons I, I like them. I think the defense is really turning the corner. I also think, um, Phillip Rivers don't have a great rapport with T.Y. Hilson, but that could come up for the Lions look, but I just don't think the coach that good of a football team, um, that's a record indicate because of Phillip Rivers holding them back. So, um, that's just my opinion on it. I like the win, Lions to win by three. Let me know what you guys think, but don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all my links in the description. If you ever have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request. I want to chop it up. Twitter's the fastest way to Facebook and Instagram. Really on Instagram. Then other than that, um, you can check my other channel out, Goodfellas Sports TV, for more sports, music, news, and entertainment. And for my full NFL picks I did another day, you can check out the NFL playlist over there. Uh, want to make a donation, best way to do that is share, share the video. 
Um, hit the subscribe button, bell icon button, but financial donations, cash app, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. That's both in the description. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you guys think. We're gone.